How you doing guys? Um, I want to talk to you guys, uh, actually specifically to non-Christians. I made this video to address similarities that I've seen between um, well, the analogy of you know trying to get a kid to eat his veggies and a non-Christian's attitude towards the moral commandments of God. Now, I'll make my case. Um, you know, observe the child. We've all seen it a thousand times. The parents are trying to get their kids to eat veggies. The kid doesn't want it. He's throwing tantrums, going on a hunger strike, whatever, whatever. And the parent, whose who's understanding is far greater than that of the child, um, is grieved because he's trying. You have to eat your veggies. You have to be healthy. It's what's good for you. You know, they're trying to do something, trying to help the kid, but the kid's like, no, you know, I want ice cream. You're still ruining my fun. Blah blah blah, and all this and all that, and um, you know, where the parents just want want what's best for the child. They want them to get healthy. Now, there's a massive similarity between that and the arguments or the reasons that I've heard a non-Christian has put forward to the, the commandments of God. God's commandments, His moral laws, are like veggies. They're good for us. Don't lie. Don't sleep around. Don't murder. Don't steal. But to the non-Christian, it's often seen as a bondage. Oh, you're trying to ruin my fun. Why should I live under such restrictions? You know, I've got free will. I can do whatever I want, blah, blah, blah. And the fact is, yeah, sure, you do have free will. But, and in the same way that you can't force a child to eat their veggies, you can't force, be forced to keep the commandments of God. But the fact is, at the end of the day, in the same way that the parents' level understanding is so much greater than the child's, and that's why they're trying to teach you to eat veggies, which to the child doesn't seem fun at all. Think about God, the concept of God, the idea of God. God, as our Heavenly Father, His understanding is so much greater, for, greater than ours. And He's saying, guys, these commandments, these laws are good for you. Okay? Because He wants what's best for you. And it really is like a kid trying to refuse veggies. A person trying to justify, oh, why should I um, keep the laws of God? You know, why should I do what's best for me? Bro? Anyway, what's at stake? You know, why would I even bother making this video? Well, if God is God, then what's at stake is heaven and hell. Now... I got a friend of mine, and he once told me something that really stuck with me, which is that he, when he was a kid, he asked his dad, "What's the meaning of life, or what's the purpose in life?" And his dad said to him, "Life is a test." And he said, "If you pass the test, you go to heaven." And I think that's pretty spot on. So, the way I see it is that if life is a test, Jesus has the answers to the test. So you better use wisdom and call upon God while He's near. Thanks for listening.